hello everyone. Here I am on my first day at North Dakota State University as the 15th president. I am thrilled to be here. I just want to start by saying thank you. Thank you for everybody for uh, your warm welcome and the way that everybody has reached out. Uh, my wife Katie and I came to Fargo a few months ago and were blown away by how, how everyone treated us. Uh, how they made us feel welcome. I'm incredibly appreciative to all of you who have really made her feel at home. And since we left Fargo and since we've been going back and forth, it hasn't stopped. And so uh, I've just been incredibly appreciative of how everybody has made us feel so welcome uh, in these first few months. And so we're off to a, a great and a, a amazing start. Uh, I also want to say thank you to President Brashani. Uh, he's had an amazing run as the leader of this institution. He's created an amazing foundation. I'm interested in this job because of all the hard work that he's done, and I see all the, the potential uh, and the opportunity here, and that couldn't have been done without his uh, incredible uh, leadership. One of the great things that he's done is allow me to engage the campus over the last few months. So believe it or not, I probably have over 200 hours of interactions with uh, leaders here, students, uh, faculty, staff, governance, uh, alumni, donors, the list kind of goes on and on, elected officials. Uh, and most of them have been doing that on kind of nights and weekends because they love the institution and they want to see the next president uh, be successful. And so I'm also incredibly grateful for that. And so I've learned a lot. I still have a lot to learn, but I've learned a lot in that time frame. Uh, I will tell you that uh, right out of the chute, love the people. That's the one thing my wife and I said when we flew back home after our first visit was we were just blown away by how everybody treated us. And so that continues to be true. I have been incredibly impressed with you know meeting the students and the kind of leadership and the the vision and the foresight that they have which has been incredibly impressive uh, but the same goes for for faculty and staff and everybody across uh, across the board so I'm also uh, incredibly grateful for that this is a great institution the fact that it's an R1 uh, is remarkable it puts it on its own in terms of you t just talk about who in the upper Midwest is an R1, you're in pretty elite company. That speaks to the quality of education, the quality of research, and again, I think the potential of where we can go really sets us apart, and I find that to be incredibly exciting. I was also uh, blown away by the capital campaign. Uh, the kind of numbers there that people brought in just show the deep pride, uh, the deep support, and again, the opportunity and potential of this place. And I can't wait to sort of get on board with all of that and, and do my best to help lead the institution with that kind of incredible support. Uh, I think I would be remiss if I also didn't uh, say uh, the athletics part of the, of the university is pretty remarkable. We've got an amazing run there, great leadership, great future ahead of us, and I find that appealing. And then probably last and perhaps most importantly, uh, the fact that this is a land-grant institution, it serves the state, it serves all of North Dakota, it serves the region, it cares about educating future workforce, it cares about conducting research that impacts society, that makes a difference uh, to the economic development of the state, and that's what I love about land grants, and that's what I absolutely love about NDSU. So for me, I've listened a lot, uh, and I'm learning a lot, but I still have a long way to go. So I have a busy summer ahead of me. I'm gonna be doing field days, which will take up uh, a good chunk of the summer. Uh, that will s allow me to circle the state in a couple of different ways. Uh, but in the same regard, I wanna do the same thing on campus. So plans to meet with every uh, unit on campus as soon as possible. I wanna figure out the right ways to engage uh, the campus uh, moving forward. So I'm gonna need a little bit of your help there for sure, but already getting out, meeting the elected officials, alumni. I think this week and first week, I'm meeting with cabinet, I'm meeting with governance, uh, meeting with some elected officials, uh, and uh, meeting with the deans to talk about some of the opportunities around academics. So a lot going on, uh, a lot of listening on my part, and I'm gonna need your help to help me um, really think about where we wanna go. And I think that's one of the biggest responsibilities uh, of a president is to first have a real passion for higher ed, which I have. I believe education changes lives. I've personally been affected that, uh, by how education can change the stars a little bit for me, and I've seen it impact the stars for other people. So I'm, I'm all in uh, in that regard. But for me, it's gonna be setting the vision in terms of where we want NDSU to go, uh, respecting its, reach, its rich tradition, its history, 
its strengths, and also seizing opportunities that we see ahead. And I think that's what the next vision is going to have to be about. And that's something I want to set later this summer, early fall, but really after I engage uh, the community that supports this institution so greatly. So please help me with, with all of those things. I look forward to, to more of these communications. I look forward to getting to know you. If you see me on campus or around town, please stop by and say hi. I am really looking forward to, to leading your university. I am honored and privileged, and I'm excited to get going. Thank you.